What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And welcome to Monday, which means it's another hashtag Monday motivation. Let me know if you're joining me from Facebook or YouTube or even LinkedIn. The brilliance of technology these days is we can go anywhere. So I am literally everywhere right now because... This Monday motivation, stop fiddling with the camera for five seconds, is incredibly important, I think. So I got um, I got this message from one of my uh, followers on Facebook, Neil, and he's this really beautiful guy, lives in South Africa, I know it's South America, but South Africa, and he sent me this message and he said, hey, one of the things that you said in your last Monday motivation really struck a note with me, and I can see a couple little eyeballs, so if you're here joining me today, please comment, I'd love to know where you're joining me from. And he said, one of the things that you said in your last Monday motivation is it really struck me in a really positive way, but it really shook me. And for me personally, this is such a pet peeve. It's such a pet peeve. Thanks for the love hearts. Let me know who's sending them. I can't see right now. Um, I really like it. I teach all of my clients, all of those in the Stick It Revolution and anybody who will listen long enough this because... It is such a thing in our society. It's such a thing. Like we are constantly being told that if you want to achieve results, then you must be this positive beacon of happiness and hustle and grind. If you're not hustling and grinding, then what are you doing? And I just, I need to debunk that again. And I've done it quite a few times, but for you guys with this hashtag Monday motivation, it's getting you down. It's potentially holding you back and it is stopping you from truly accepting yourself and skipping over the really big details because I'm going to do a live bonus training in the Facebook group. So if you want the information on what I'm about to say, make sure you join the Facebook group. I'll comment the links when I finish this as well so that you can get there because this is going to teach you so much about self-acceptance and how it's not accepting yourself is holding you back. So skipping over that bit, self-acceptance. If we all had more acceptance of who we are and what we are and what we want to do and expressing ourselves, the entire globe, I truly believe, would be a more positive place. Not because we're all fitting into this box. Are you positive? Do you answer fantastic when someone asks you how you are? Are you getting up at 5 a.m. and drinking the juices and hustling and grinding and being an entrepreneur? Because as the millennial and Gen Zs, you know, if you don't fit in to university and the life that you're told that society expects of you, then that looks like the alternative. And it looks like the only alternative. And for so many people, thank you so much for the love hearts who are sending them. Make sure you comment and let me know who's here. I'd love to know who's joining me. And if you're one of those millennials and Gen Zs who feels like they have to be like that, or maybe you're a team, maybe you're in sales, maybe you're on, in network marketing, maybe you're in online marketing, maybe just in your workplace, the standard is happy and bubbly and, you know, work really hard and nothing else matters. I'm telling you today, the truth is... If you're striving to be that person, and hear my words, if you are striving to be that person, then you are being inauthentic. In fact, you're rejecting part of yourself. Like truly, it's hair on my face. You are truly rejecting part of yourself. And I mean, if we have one shot in this life, if that's all we get, because who really knows what happens? If we have one shot in this life, do you want to live the rest of your life rejecting who you are? You wouldn't do that to your best friend. You wouldn't do that to someone you love. You wouldn't do it to your family. So why is it okay for us to do it to ourselves and we don't even know we're doing it? If you're striving to be that person because it doesn't come naturally to you and it's okay if it doesn't, then in essence you're striving to be completely off balance. And you're rejecting yourself along the way. And you know, that's going to cause so many issues for you in the future. And that's one of the reasons that people like me and psychologists and counsellors and other life coaches as well do what we do. Because there's this expectation that we set for ourselves. Thank you for always sending me likes. Let me know who's there. Comment. I would love to see who's here joining me. Because there's this expectation that we internally or externally set. that happens in our minds. So there's no... This is what I need to be like. So if you're one of those people that feel like they have to be 
yes, everything's fantastic and little miss or little Mr. Sunshine all of the time. And you feel like that's who you have to be to get what you want in your life. Take this message today, this Monday motivation, and understand that is so not true. I did that. That is the life I created for myself because I thought that I should. I fulfilled the should criteria, the career, the fancy car, own the home, high school sweetheart. I fulfilled it all because I thought that I should. Was I happy? Yeah. But was I fulfilled? No. I did not feel passionate. I did not feel purposeful. In fact, I had no idea what was next for me. There was a large part of me that felt empty. And it's because to fulfill that stereotype that what I should do, that beacon of positivity that hustles and grinds and works and, you know, achieves those results, I rejected part of who I am. And if you do that, I guarantee you'll end up in a similar situation to me. And for some, it's not so easy to pull through. I did. I'm incredibly lucky to be here with you today sharing this message. And I'm incredibly lucky that I went through that experience because in essence, it's a midlife crisis. We've all heard of those. You get divorced, you leave your family, you buy the red fast car. And you go and you find yourself because you realize everything you built, it was awesome, but it wasn't in alignment with who you are. So don't let yourself be pulled off balance. If you're not naturally that positive beacon, you are an incredible human being. So stop pushing yourself to be something you're not because you have value right now, today. Thank you so much for love hearts. Right now, today, as you are. So reconnect, rebalance, find the way that you want to express yourself in this world and the way you want to achieve goals. Hey, Zach, thanks so much. Oh, thanks, Zach. That's really lovely. Find the way you want to be. And if you're not sure, you don't have to have all the answers. Guys, if you wait to have all the answers, you will be waiting your entire life at the start line like any day now. You do not want to be that person either. So start now, reconnect with who you are, become a student of you. I always teach my clients, you are either the psychologist or the patient. Which do you want to be? Take the power back in your life. Take the power back in your mind. Realize it starts and it ends with you. And it starts and ends with the real you, not the you that you think you should be. So be true to you in this Monday motivation. Find a way this week that you can express who you are as you are. You are absolutely incredible. I'll pop the link for the Facebook group if you want to know more about acceptance and more about this topic topic, and more about how you can actually go about doing and implementing some of the things I've said today. So I'll pop the Facebook group link in the comments. No matter what platform you're on, you'll see them there. And most importantly, as you move through your week, be the real you and remember to stick it.